All right, Crypto Vin here, Crypto Vin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I'd appreciate it. Uh, before I get started, I just want to say thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them in the comments section. I know there's a lot of other channels out there doing the same thing. So I'm going to try to be a little bit different and, and than the bigger channels and, and be more personable and uh, respond to your questions and comments right away. I know sometimes on the bigger channels, um, your questions are uh, never answered and you don't get any reply to your comments. I already had uh, one subscriber ask me to do a video on Rio uh, Privacy Coin and I did that and uh, it was a hot of mine and a brief overview of the project. So I will continue to do that. So please subscribe and uh, leave a comment. So let's get going here on Beam. So a brief overview on Beam here. I'm on their website, beam.mw backslash. And it brings you to their wallet, how to download their wallet here, where to buy Beam and Beam Mining. So here's uh, the news center. If you want to read about uh, things that they've done in the past and things about the project. So let's go to the product features. It talks about uh, why choose Beam for your privacy coin. It's confidentiality, versatility, opt-in auditability, uh, confidential assets, scalability. Sustainability, usability, compatibility, it has a lot of abilities there. So you can um, check that out um, more in depth on your own. But we're going to move on to downloads. I'm going to bring you again to the wallets. Wallet instruction. So they have some technical things here that you can look at. This technical source code. The blockchain explorer is important to check out. It'll tell you how many coins are in circulation, 52 million, not bad. The latest block, the latest block difficulty, I know they just had their halving, uh, so the rewards went from 100 to 50, and that was back in December. They also uh, did a hard fork in August to stay ASIC resistant. Let's go back to the website. Communities here. Ambassadors, miners, developers, the community site. So here's the team. Pretty transparent. You can read um, about their profiles here. They have LinkedIn profiles. And it's nice to see uh, faces with the names. So that's the team. They have advisors and uh, the investors. You can read who invested in the project here. Resources, there's a Beam Foundation. You can read about that and its uh, objectives. And the technical papers, the Beam position, Mimblewimble, uh, Beampedia, Beam accepted here. So there's some places that accept Beam. Shops and markets, services, gaming and gambling, donations. And... Important to check out the frequently asked questions. They talk about Mimblewimble. What's the difference between Beam, Zcash, Monero, the other privacy coins? What's the difference between Beam and Grin? Uh, the emission schedule. They just have their halving here. Years 2, 3, and 4, 5 to 40 coins per block. Six to nine, 24, five coins. You read about why it's deflationary, auditability, and we'll get down to the mining information. Why is Beam using Equihash mining? Equihash is mining. It's good for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, 
They use a they hard fork, like I said, August 15, 2019, to, to become ASIC resistant. It's called beam hash two, ASIC resistant here. The governance talks about the foundation again, what it what it is, and the team. So you can look at that more in depth when you get a chance. And they have the Bitcoin talk here. Why beam core features, governance model, no IC, no, no I pre-mine. How it works, the roadmap, looks like that needs to be updated. And very similar stuff, the wallet instructions. So let's talk about the wallet. The wallet, I'll pull it up here. You can uh, send, receive. It's my public address. It has a, this atomic swap. So you can buy, if you, you receive uh, 10 beam, send and receive, you can see it's like a swap area for different currencies. So let's talk about mining. I use two miners. I like two miners because it has a very good explanation of what to put in the command lines, um, at least in SMOS. But, uh, let's go to how to start. So you, you want to use G minor, so you go down to G minor, and this is basically what you're putting in, minus minor dot exe, the execute file. You just want dash dash algo here, from there to down here where your rig ID is. We're going to put all that into the SMOS uh, command line. So we go to SMOS, I'm mining it now, beam. Let's go to group configuration. So you're going to add a group. You're going to go to G minor. And you can see here 150 backslash 5 beam. So that's what you want to pick. And the, the, uh, er, the latest version. So let me go back. And so you want to use, use that, the latest version, 1.92. I already have it done here. You can see I'm mining beam on two miners pool, G minor. And here, I'll put this in the uh, description in the video, but uh, this is the command line you want to put in. Here, uh, of course, minus my wallet, which is after dot dash dash user. And let's go back to my to the rig list. I have my six, 1060 Zotax, Mining. So as you can see, I'm getting shares here. I haven't overclocked my uh, GPUs. This is just I'm not steadily mining Beam right now. Um, on more on Rio right now. So I haven't overclocked my GPUs, so everything's kind of low a little bit. <clears throat> Probably not getting the best hash rate possible, but wanted to get this video out. So it runs on the Equihash algorithm, and their custom-made uh, Equihash is Beam Hash 2, and uh, they use a Mimblewimble protocol. So what is Mimblewimble? I pulled up this informative article on Binance Academy, binance.vision backslash blockchain, backslash what is Mimblewimble? A little bit of a tongue twister there. You can read about it. Mimblewimble is a blockchain design that employs a novel way of structuring and storing transaction. It's a different implementation of a proof of work blockchain that allows for increased privacy and better network scalability. And it goes on um, to explain more, and you can read that on your uh, own, uh, more in depth on your own. And 
that's about it. Any questions, comments, please leave uh, them in the comment section. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any other projects or questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And I'm going to try uh, to be uh, receptive and um, definitely give you answers back, something that the big uh, channels might not do because they have so many people uh, asking questions and commenting. It's kind of hard for them to get back to everybody. So I want to be able to get back to everybody. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, take care.